Sorry about that. Hi, Damon. Hope you're doing alright, sweetheart. It's good to see you. So we tried to do ASMR on Sunday, right? <laughs> we tried, and uh, uh, like 29 minutes into the stream, we got a follow about it, so I didn't stream. <laughs> uh, but we we have sorry about it now. Um, and uh, changed some uh, settings, so it shouldn't happen again shouldn't <laughs> it shouldn't um but uh yeah so hopefully everything goes okay today <laughs> um because uh that was the last sunday was the first asmr stream in like two and a half weeks or something like that so um it's been a while <laughs> it's been a while Wednesday for halfway through the week now um but uh, uh it is like over 100 degrees outside right now <laughs> um it's 101 degrees and uh on Friday the day I gotta do on work oh it's now 101 okay so, uh, yeah, it's hot outside. <laughs> it's pretty hot outside. Tomorrow is Elden Ring stream. <laughs> Sorry, if you heard that, the AC just turned on. Um, uh, tomorrow is the eight-hour Elden Ring stream. We would put it, I had to put it off, postpone it for two weeks because uh, I got sick. It was supposed to be the day after I got sick. Like the, the last stream was Wednesday, right? Before the stream before I got too sick to stream was Wednesday. <laughs> Um, and they had the Elden Ring stream was supposed to be that next week, or that next day, 
I think. Um, so I postponed it to last week. But I forgot, because I was feeling better. So I was like, alright, we'll play it on Thursday. Last Thursday. But that day was 4th of July, so we couldn't stream that day. Um, so we uh, postponed it to today. Or tomorrow, sorry. This week. Same with the Choo Choo Charles stream uh, on Friday. We'll see how that goes. Because <laughs> I'm probably going to be exhausted. Um, but uh, I, I am excited. I am excited. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, we are starting the Elden Ring stream at uh, 11 a.m. Uh, I'm in daylight time, so I'm gonna try. Um, <laughs> there's a fairly good chance that I'm going to end up sleeping through my alarms, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Say no one. <laughs> How are you doing, Darius? Good to see you. Hope you're doing okay. Does a cute emote? Is a cute comfy? I'm gonna go to here. Go to here. Right?
need to sleep. We just started the stream. We're ten minutes in. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed in a few hours though. For sure, for sure. No worries, no worries. a.m. for you? Oh. Mm. You need to sleep then, right? Hmm? Unless you just woke up, of course. Um, it's, uh, it's uh, almost 8 p.m. Almost 8 p.m. And uh, do do you go by Daisy? What 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 should I call you, dear? I'm oh, sorry, I'm real bad at pronouncing names. I'm not good at it. <laughs> I am not good at it at all. Hi, Nimbus. You're streaming, Nimbus. What are you doing? PV. Okay. Daisy is a type of food. Oh, okay. It's like a fried bread. That sounds yummy. Sounds good though. Excuse me. Sorry about that burp. It looks good, like kind of the same shape as uh, little scones. That's cool. That's cool. 
It looks yummy. Neat. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> It looks yummy. Yeah, that's look good. That's look good. Hi, Kumi. Hey dear, how are you? Hope you're doing okay. Please go follow Kumi. Kumi is also a boy of the femme variety. Um, you weren't expecting it? What, what were you expecting? <laughs> it's an ace of much strength. You're gonna get smooches. Um, please give Kumi lots of love. He's a big sweetheart. Um, very cozy streamer. Um, Kumi kept me sane while I was too sick to do anything with his uh, Elder Ring streams. Um, that's where I got the, the Elder Ring badge. <laughs> um, but yeah, Kumi streams are always a great time. And Kumi's awesome. <clears throat> of course, Kumi, of course. Of course you get us over there. Hi, Estrella. Hi, sweetheart. You're awesome, Kumi. You be. Yo, I did that uh, Sunday. <laughs> I did that Sunday. I can unmod you if you'd like. I can unmod you if you like, because I, I did not ask you if you were okay with me modding you. Straw. Hi, Jackie. You're cool. No, that's okay, Straw. You do not have to be here all the time. You don't have to be there. All, be here all the time. I did set up, Sari. I did. I was Sari, and. uh I changed some settings in the, the back end, so followers have to have a verified email. I didn't have that on before. I should have had that on. Um, and uh, accounts uh, younger than three months have to have a verified phone number. Um, thankfully, I had that on for comments, for chatters. <laughs> um, so uh, otherwise, I feel like those bots would have been spamming like a Discord link or something. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, that night, um, 
uh, Sunday night, I was up late uh, blocking all these bots. <laughs> because um, banning a bot doesn't, banning someone doesn't keep them from following you, so I had to block them. So I sat there till like 1.30 in the morning, <laughs> typing on my keyboard, forward slash block, blah, 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 whatever the name was. Um, it was like th 340 bots. Um, yeah, so that shouldn't happen again. It shouldn't happen again. But you doing okay, Kumi? Hope we ate something. You guys ate something yummy today. That should not happen again. <laughs> that shouldn't happen again. Hmm. So your bot also tells me when an ad break is about to start. That's pretty handy. <laughs> Sorry about the barb. <laughs> oh, sorry about that pop too. I think this is the mic cover. Catching on the microphone. To get rat ball commercials, Estrella. Like, all I've been getting is like, at least like ads on like videos, not like banner ads or like the ads that show up on like your YouTube homepage while you're browsing that are like really annoying because some of them are videos that uh, if you mouse over with your cursor, they'll end up in your, your YouTube history. Uh, watch history for some reason even though you like didn't watch any of it at all it's really annoying <laughs> um i've been getting like i get like a mint mobile ads which is fine because i like i like ryan reynolds he's a cool guy right so they're fine they're fine i'd prefer ryan reynolds over any other ad ever <laughs> um and like dog food um, and uh, occasionally that's about learning English if you're a Chinese senior citizen in America why <laughs> why but why is it what Targeted ads are like 
is ridiculous. They're, they're not targeted at all. The only targeted ads I get are for like pet food because my phone number is on like a PetSmart account or whatever because I bought fish there a few times. That's where we'd get fish for an aquarium for uh, my aquarium. It's got anonymous Chinese live stream karaoke apps. My goodness, <laughs> I don't. I, well, I get like USA Medicaid ads. Like, does it, are you struggling with you with with with, uh, with Medicaid? <laughs> Click here to, to get some help. Or so, I don't remember. It's a yeah, and like, so I get like Mint Mobile ads, ads for like fast food when in like the morning and afternoon and evening, except at like three a.m. and. Uh, uh, they're even, like, um, they're weirder on mobile. My ads are weirder on mobile than on desktop. Um, because, you know, there's all the weird mobile games and stuff. But, like, I get ads for, like, like, bras and stuff. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. I'm glad no one is watching me scroll my, my YouTube home feed. On my phone, <laughs> it's weird. Taiwanese Metroidvania game recently. It's called Nine Souls. Cool. Hi, Artie. Mm -hmm. Wait, does the summer sale end? Is the summer sale over? I feel okay. I haven't coughed at all today. I haven't coughed at all. Um. Yeah. I was fine yesterday too, for the most part. It was just that one, just that, that day a few days ago, because <laughs> I was watching Muck's stream, and uh, he has the, the TTS thing, right? And it, it, you can make the thing make wild noises, and uh, I was laughing really hard. It's making me cough, but uh, besides that, I, w I was fine. My nose isn't super congested anymore. So, we should be all good. <laughs> yeah, we should be good. How are you, RD? I hope you're doing all right, sweetheart. Did you uh, did you have a good stream? I didn't make I didn't make it to the to uh, the end. I left here. I was I left the stream open. I just had to go shower. Uh, but you had, you had ended before I got back. You be good. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're great. Then to highlight your message just highlights your message. You don't have to do that though. <laughs> you don't have to highlight your message. Oh, I need to end the. I need to end that. We we did that. Actually, let me go do that. Yeah. So, um.
now that some people are here. Next week, um, next week, um, either like Friday or Saturday, um, maybe Thursday, I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, uh, I'll show you guys all the, the fabrics I have, and then uh, the, uh, you guys can pick one that uh, we'll use for the puppet. Um, because we hit eighty dollars during the, the donathon, uh, these are still all active though. So if we ever hit these amounts, I will still do these things. Um, but uh, we're gonna do this series of puppet making streams. Um, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. <laughs> um, we'll uh, probably do most of the sewing on stream, and. Uh, um, but it's a lost by train of thought. <laughs> well, uh, I can't cut the. I'll, I'll, we'll just pick the fabric that day, because um, then I gotta clean up and uh, cut the the pattern, and then we can start sewing. Um, and uh, we'll probably do everything on stream besides me uh, get, m making the mouth plate because uh, to make the mouth plate for the puppet um, I use um, plastic like lids to big plastic bins that you get at like Walmart and stuff um, and I, I, I use the band saw in the garage to cut the shape of the, the mouth plate out on the lid because um, it works better than cardboard because the cardboard is fine um, but it's a little thicker and you know it, it gets soggy. <laughs> um, so we use the I use the plastic. Um, we just hot glue it to the uh, the felt of the mouth on the inside of the puppet, right? Um, eventually, I want to try um, using two pieces of felt and uh, sewing a pocket for the the plastic mouth plate to go into, so the puppet could be washed if it needs to be. Um, uh, but uh, I don't know how well that would, I don't know if it would make it survive the washer. <laughs> I don't think it would. Um, they probably just need to be hand washed. Because eventually, um, if you guys want to see the puppets I've made, um, there's pictures of them on my Twitter, um, in the media section, sorry. <laughs> There's pictures of them in the media section of my Twitter account. Um, you'd have to dig. Um, you'd have to dig. Dig for them. Um, uh, the last one on my Twitter, um, that's not the, the most recent one I made. Um, uh, the last one on my Twitter is Mort. Um, Mort's great. Mort is probably my best work <laughs> so far. I've made... Uh, there's Dilbert, Guacamole, Noodle, and then Mort, and then Mort, and uh, there was one I made uh, earlier this year, or like in December, because um, I went to Joanne's with my grandma, <laughs> and uh, there was this nice, I think it was a minky, it might have been a minky fabric, um, but it was two-sided, so one side had like leopard print. It's also like a darker blue color, and the other side is just kind of uh, wispy fur. It's not super thick fur. Um, I was like, oh cool, neat, it's two-sided, so I can use the leopard print for one side, for other puppets, and use those. So, excuse me. I made a puppet using this, uh, this material, because, so, um, I, I started making puppets last year. In like August, I think it was August, um, uh, because uh, I found the, um, I think it was my YouTube shorts or something. I was watching lots of Muppet video essays, <laughs> like uh, defunct TV and stuff, and uh, there's a channel called Rag Mop and Goose, and uh, they have a puppet adoption agency. They run a puppet adoption adoption agency. That's that's what they call it. Um, they just make puppets. <laughs> and uh, their puppets are great. Um, 
and uh, I was like, okay, I kind of want to make them because they have a series of videos where they uh, design a puppet, they make a puppet based on uh, uh, pictures of emojis they draw out of a cup or whatever, um, and uh, they go through the process of how to do it in one of the videos. Um, and it's not very hard. The hard part is getting the pattern. <laughs> um, and, uh, um, I can't remember what his name is. Let me find it. Let me find it. Um, uh, Ragmop and Goose got their pattern from, uh, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the playlist? There we go. Um, from Puppet Nerd. Puppet Nerd is awesome. He's great. Um, if you guys know Arlo, the 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 guy that the 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 blue puppet that talks about Nintendo games, <laughs> um, the Puppet Nerd made Arlo. Um, and. Uh, um, he has a series of videos on, uh, how to make a puppet, that kind of thing. Um, and, uh, he has a website, um, that, uh, has a free pattern for just, uh, uh, I think they call, he calls them snoots or something, floofs or snoots. Um, it's just a sleeve, um. There's nothing fancy about it. There's no foam in the head or anything like that. Just uh, basically a sock puppet, but uh, in 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 shape. Um, and you can give it arms if you want. Stretch. Thank you, Arden. And uh, um, he has a video. I did this the hard way. <laughs> You don't have to do what I did. I did it hard, the hard way. Um, but he has a video on how to make a puppet pattern. Um, I didn't know about that video because he he um he has a video where he shows you how to make a puppet for a little kid. He has uh, in the video he made one for his uh, three year old. Um, I didn't catch up. Wait, yep. <laughs> uh, my mom helped me make the pattern because I am awful. At math in my head, especially, um, and I, I was never very good with like rulers and stuff. Um, and uh, he's like, "Okay, here's how you do this and this and this." And me and my mom were trying to like, "Okay, well, so he's doing this for the little puppet, and so we just need to make it this shape, but we want it to make it. We need to make it wide enough so my arm fits, and then my hand fits." Um, so we took, like, a whole evening, <laughs> maybe it might, it might have been two days, and then, or we did, we tried to do it with the, the, that video, and then I found the video where he goes over how to make the pattern, and then I was like, oh, here, Mom, we need to do it like this, <laughs> and it was way easier, it was so much easier, because uh, we were trying to copy the pattern he made for his, his three-year-old. Um, and just make it bigger for my arm, but that was rough. <laughs> so here's a video where he's like, okay, here you go, you just, you basically trace your arm to make sure it's big enough or whatever, then you go like, yeah. Very easy. <laughs> also, um, sewing it super easy, because uh, you could do the cross stitch, right, where you go in one end, one side of the, f the seam, then go back through the other side. Um, uh, but, uh, he uses the whip stitch for like the body of the puppet. You can use the, cro the the cross stitch or whatever it's called for the like a, an outfit for the puppet. Like if you're making a shirt for the puppet, you can use other stitch other stitches. But you use the whip stitch because you go in. You just go in one side of the the seam the the whole time, the whole way through. It's super easy. You don't even have to tie a knot in the end. You just go in the same spot, put the needle through the same spot when you're starting like three or five times. And the this it it works the same way as a knot. Um, <laughs> and uh, um, use the whip stitch because it 
uh, works as kind of like a, a sp it looks it it becomes a, the the seam the the stitch is a spiral so it makes it so that your puppet can stretch uh, more the seam can stretch because um, it's a it's a spiral like a spring so it can stretch a little bit stretch a little bit more um, so sewing them are really easy um, I've sewed all of them by hand I have a sewing machine now because <laughs> uh, we were at my uncle's on my dad's side for Christmas last year and uh, my other uncle on my dad's side uh, lived in Wyoming and uh, in their small town they had a thrift store or whatever and they had like a refurbished sewing machine or my uncle bought it and then got it refurbished and gave it to my other uncle for some reason because <laughs> uh, that uncle that we were at for Christmas um, he he sells stuff on eBay pretty often. He he um, he does like what uh, jet skis, water ski um, parts and stuff. That is his main job, just as a hobby. So he has experience selling stuff on eBay. <laughs> so I think my uncle gave my other uncle. Uh, the sewing machine because like here you, you do you, you know how to sell stuff you can deal with this so it was sitting in our basement for years <laughs> and then because um, I got I went to Joanne's with my grandma for Christmas for, um, but I didn't get it till Christmas because it's like my Christmas present <laughs> so uh, my uncle I was like looking at the fabric I got the, the fur I got and then my uncle was like hey you want a sewing machine I was like sure <laughs> so he goes downstairs and he comes back up with this uh, a sewing machine. It looks old. It's an older sewing machine, but it's apparently it hasn't been used since it got back from the, being refurbished at the shop. So I haven't used it. Um, I don't really have desk space to put set it up in my room. I guess I could, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just enjoy the process of hand sewing the puppets. Um, I think if I were to uh, make arms out of the same fabric as the body, um, I would sew those because those are a pain <laughs> to hand sew. So, um, so I probably use the sewing machine for those. Um, but I, now I have, uh, I got a bunch of uh, f boa fe feather boas for Christmas. So um, I can just use those for the puppet arms instead. And. Uh, that saves a lot of time on sewing. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I can show you guys the puppets I've made too. That stream. Um, we'll probably do that Friday or Thursday or Friday. Um, uh, I so I I found or the the algorithm. It was either the TikTok algorithm or the YouTube Shorts algorithm that f started feeding me Ragmop and Goose stuff. Um, and I was like, okay, these seem pretty simple. I want to try doing this. And in my head, I had this vision for a pink woolly mammoth thing. And uh, I was like, okay, with like a bow tie. In my head, I, I pictured him in my head. I was like, I want to make that. So, um, I have pink, uh, I have pink faux fur that I have yet to use, um, because I was, I've been pract I was practicing. Mort was also practiced, because, uh, the first few puppets I made were just with felt, and, uh, the first two. I was Dilbert and Guacamole, and then I made Noodle. Noodle <laughs> doesn't have arms. I guess I could give him arms now with the feather boas. Um, but, uh, because uh, um, originally when I started wanting to get into making puppets, I talked to my grandma, because my grandma um, likes to sew too, and she has a lot of stuff, scrap, uh, fabric scraps and stuff, lots of felt and stuff. So she, she dumped it all on me, which is fine. <laughs> Um, but she she made a um, a fur coat for my um, step aunt. Um, so I have a lot of uh, like really sh shiny um, faux black fur. 
um, it looks really nice, <laughs> and I have a lot of it, I have a lot of it, um, but my grandma said I can't use it till I get really good at making puppets, so, um, but if you guys want me to use it <laughs> for, um, for the puppet that we make on stream, I'll do it, um, yeah, so I, I wanted to make this pink elephant with a uh, bow tie. So the last puppet I made, um, I tried to give him a trunk, a, a, a nose, um, out of a tube of fabric. I just used my, my arm pattern, um, but to like, uh, base it on my, my arm pattern, because the arm is about as thick as I want the trunk to be. But I made it taper off at the end, <laughs> which ended up being a mistake. Um, also, this fabric that I used, um, the, the minky fur with the, the, the leopard pattern on one end was uh, a, a pain. It was a pain to work with. <laughs> it was it was not fun. It was not fun to use. Um, uh, <laughs> Uh, especially with the, the, this trunk that I, I tried to make, because um, I wanted to practice making the trunk to see if I could, you know, see how it would work, and uh, before I make my pink elephant thing. So, um, it, it was like five or seven inches long, the pattern. And I cut it out and I, I hand sew it. Um, so, and I have it done, but I need to turn it inside out now. So I grab a wooden dowel that I use for um, arm rods that I just hot glue into a... So when I, when I sew the arms uh, near the, the, the wrist, I, I sew the wrist and then uh, leave a little hole in the seam for me to put the arm rod through. And I just put some hot glue on the end of the, the, the dowel and put in the, the hole in the seam. So then they, you know have arm rods <laughs> um, and uh, I got to turn the, the arms and stuff inside out um, I just yesterday <laughs> I was watching another uh, a ragmob and goose video where they make a puppet out of scrap uh, scrap so fabric and they they sew the end of the arm shut too I was like, oh, that's me. that would make turning inside out way easier. <laughs> anyway, um, hi, Toto. Um, hi, dear. How you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Um, so I finished sewing the trunk, the puppet's nose, and I get the wooden dowel trying to turn inside out. The seam rips. The dowel goes through the seam. <laughs> <laughs> um, partly, mostly because I, I left too big of a gap between the stitches, so the dowel just went right through it, and also the fabric just, it was a pain to work with. <laughs> I kind of regret getting it, but, uh, I don't know. It's fine. I can use it for lining, um, for the inside of a puppet, because it's pretty, it's still pretty soft fabric. Um, my day's been okay, Tato. My day was okay. I slept in <laughs> later than I would have liked, and then I watched anime for like two hours, and then I showered. And by the time I was done, it was three thirty. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh man." <laughs> um. Anyway. Uh, so I just have I have to cut the the trunk I made in half to try and salvage it because um, the seam ripped and then I ripped a hole in the, the, the fabric too um, so I just cut it in half so the trunk ended up being half as long as I intended um, and uh, yeah I don't know if it looks good <laughs> I don't know if it looks good um, but uh, he, he was a test puppet to see how this trunk would go um, it, would, it would definitely look better with uh, faux fur um, because the felt's just too thin and you can see the seams way better, way easier on the felt than the faux fur because the fur hides the seams. 
uh, which you can see on Mort. Uh, the picture I have of Mort on Twitter. Um, Anyway. Hi, hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. How are you doing, sweetheart? Good to see you. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. You're the first person to make me do squats in like two weeks, Mark. <laughs> Give me one second. Sorry about that. <laughs> you guys can probably hear my knees popping, huh? <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the faux fur um, definitely helps hide the um, seam. Uh, also, the whip stitch, um, the seam with a whip stitch is also um, way easier to hide than a cross stitch. Um, Anyway, <laughs> um, I can't remember the name of the puppet with the nose. I can't remember if I put a picture of him on Twitter. I don't remember. I might have a picture of him. I don't actually. I don't know if I do. I don't know if I do. Six more followers. Yeah. Uh, if we hit uh, the 600, I'll post my thighs on Twitter. Um. Hi, Haku. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? Good to see you. Let me. I'll get you your good boy in just a second. All right, let's noodle. There's Mort. Yeah, I don't think I uploaded a picture of him. Oh well. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good, Hanko. Uh, we were just been talking about puppets for the past, I don't know, 30 minutes. Because <laughs> um, we're going to start the, the puppet making streams next week. Um, next week, next weekend. I'll uh, show you guys all the fur, I, the fabrics I have, and you guys can pick which one will make the puppet out of. Um, we'll probably do everything on stream besides me cutting the pattern in the mouth plate, and uh, maybe I, I'll probably have to make the arm rods off stream. Probably. But, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, if, when we hit 600 followers, I will post my thighs on Twitter. I will. The last ones I took um, were with uh, fishnets and uh, fuzzy lake warmers, if you want to see, see that. <laughs> we need six more followers. Outside. 
good boy. Such a good boy, Haku. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Good boy. Yes, you are. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Yes, you are. It's more. I know, Dale. Thank you for the, the good boy redeem, Haku. Thank, thank you. Why are you blushy, Teto? I'm not even talking about you. <laughs> I'm talking about Teto. Or Haku. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi, Smart. Hi, Ninetail. Hey, Teto. How are you, Ninetail? I hope you're doing alright, sweetheart. Good to see you. Hi, Smart. I was just doing a good boy redeem. That's what, that's what was going on. How are you, Smars? Hope you're doing okay. You had training after orientation I was on the computer. You were there for ten hours, yeah. My first day at what was that my first day at Walmart? My it was Yeah, I think it was my first day at Walmart. They had us read through a pamphlet and then we had to do uh training on the computer. Um but like half the tr half the stuff that they told us to do for top stock on the computer they didn't my manager didn't care about that. Like, we didn't get yelled at. They did not get yelled at for <laughs> like overnights would leave cardboard up there. I don't want to get too into it because I'm gonna get, he get heated. But um, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> yeah, it was very interesting. Yeah, my model's in a blanket. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. For position, it was your seeing nurse training. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I hope you're able to relax now, nine tail. Yeah, we we to get to six hundred followers. I'll post my thighs on Twitter. <laughs> I'll do it. This more hope you're doing all right, dear. You can go for your actual position training tomorrow and work the weekends. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Hope that goes well for you, Nine Tail. Hope that's okay for you. Goes okay for you. You're okay putting your two weeks for your job tomorrow, so you're pretty excited. Nice, no nice. It always feels nice. <laughs> that always feels nice. Well, this weekend? Oh, okay. Gotcha. 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 Well, next weekend. <laughs> next weekend. Uh, we're well, we're starting the the puppet making streams. I've t I've talked about this like five times already, but <laughs> next week uh, I'll show you guys. Uh, I guess I can show you guys the puppets I've made already, and uh, the um, I've made six 
uh, Dilbert, Guacamole, Noodle, Mort. I made, I've made five. I've made five. Um, that's when I, I can't remember his name. For some reason, Rupert is coming to mind. I don't remember if I named him Rupert. Um, and I'll, I'll show you guys all the, the furs I have, and then I'll be, you guys can pick one, and we'll make the puppet out of that. Um, does that sound good? Is that okay with you guys? We'll probably do that Friday or Saturday, probably. Probably Friday or Saturday. There we go. Please go follow S'mores. Please give S'mores lots of love. S'mores is a big old sweetheart. Um, he's also a boy of the femme variety. Um, he's, <laughs> he's put it in his two weeks. And then he's going to try, t he's going to push for his uh, affiliate. Um, so if we could help him get affiliate when he, um, uh, starts streaming again. <laughs> That'd mean a lot. Please please give him a follow. He's great. Boy of the Femme variety goes hard. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I don't know. It's just funny. I, it's fun to say. It's fun to say. But, uh, yeah, that's the plan for next weekend. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> um, please give s'mores lots of love. Please, please, please. Pretty, pretty, please. No, they don't have to give me love. No, they don't have to do that s'more. They don't have to do that at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a reminder, I don't know if anybody's redeemed it yet today. Um, we do have the smooch redeem. We have the smooch redeem. Uh, you can redeem it now, and you'll actually get ASMR smooches and just instead of uh, the garbage. <laughs> yeah, they like Tatop. There you go, Tatop. Those are cute emotes, Line Tail. Those are cute. The platter puts is all is so cute. <laughs> It's so cute. Let me get. I'm gonna drink some water real quick. Tato. Extra soft, please and thank you. What does that mean? Well, let me put on some chapstick then. I'll do my best, Tato. I'm a bit rusty. I haven't done this for like three and a half weeks. <laughs> maybe. I mean, three and a half weeks. Ago. Maybe three weeks. It feels like it's three weeks. Three weeks feels right. <laughs> Is that soft enough for you to do? So, is that what you had in mind?
was that okay for you to tell? Was that okay? I tried to do soft. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I did it right. But uh, thank you for everything you tattoo. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> what do you mean, s'more? <laughs> what do you mean? Started humming baby shark. Sorry. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so uh, I'm very excited to start working on puppets again. I've been meaning to for a while. It's just that where I make them has been a mess for oh, since Christmas. <laughs> so um, yeah. How much for an ASMR thigh slap? If you want that, you can go to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> if you want that s'mores, there's a, a video on my YouTube channel about that. Because, uh, it was the, um, $60 reward for the, do for the donathon. Um, oops, I always hide that one on accident. Um, it's up on YouTube. Uh, it's like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I don't remember how long it is. Um, let's see, your, oh, let me see here, if I find it, I'll, I'll, I'll DM it to you, let's see, <laughs> 20 minutes, I, I think, of thigh slapping, yeah, well, not just of slapping, <laughs> um, yeah, there's the the playlist is a hundred and forty six videos long. It is video one hundred forty four. Yeah, it's video one hundred forty four. It's 31 minutes long. It's 31 minutes long. Copy. There you go, Smart. I DM'd it to you. That should be the video. <laughs> um, I did do uh, Thigh Sounds on a stream before, a few times. Um, but I, I don't really feel comfortable doing that now anymore. Live, anyway. <laughs> um, we did that, what, four times? Four separate occasions? Something like that. Yeah. And if you want smooches too smart, you can redeem it. It's, I try to keep my redeems cheap, relatively cheap. The most expensive one is twenty thousand. Um, the smooches are only fifty, so that's what. That's ten minutes of watching the stream, something like that. Yeah, let me drink some water real quick. One smooch. No, you get more than one smooch with the smooch redeem. You get more than one smooch. Sorry about the burps. <laughs> okay.
point. <laughs> well, it wouldn't feel right if I gave Teto like a whole bunch and you only got one. Wouldn't feel right. Thank you for the redeem smart. Thank you, thank you. I completely forgot we did the, the stream where we ranked how cuddly monster girls are. I forgot we did that. <laughs> I forgot we did that. That was in May? That was two months ago? Goodness gracious. I thought that was um, a lot longer ago. That I forgot we did that. Lamia on top. We, did, we put Lamia in S tier. Yep. Uh, the tail list is on Twitter if you want to see it. Because, like, the, the, the thing, the, you know, the typical thing would, to do would be a smasher pass or whatever, right? But that's. Eh. I didn't feel like doing that. <laughs> I wanted to rank them on how cuddly they are, how nice of a cuddle they would be. So we did that. I did it because Ursa. Um, was doing a monster girl smasher pass with a few of his buddies uh, a few of his friends that's how we met Kami uh, we're playing uh, Monster Hunter <laughs> with a Kami-chan on Saturday uh, we're starting at 515 that's the time Kami has given me it might change uh, we're playing Monster Hunter with her um, but yeah basically uh, more things ended up in S tier than not, really. Um, well, there's more things in F tier than B tier, but um, yeah. Because <laughs> I was listening to, I was watching Ursa's stream where he was doing this tier list, and I was like, dude, you have no vision. There's, where's the vision? You have no, no. This is awful. <laughs> no. So. Uh, he redid it later that evening with me and Kami, and maybe Bun Bun. Bun Bun might have been there. I don't remember. Um, but we we did it that night for that night's stream. Um, yeah. So the things that ended up in F tier: um, mermaids, ghost girls, uh, Scylla girls. Those are mushroom girls. Um, nope, they're not. Scylla girls are squid girls, octopus girls, I think. Uh, mummy girls, vampires, ant girls, frog slash toad girls, fish girls, mantis girls, crab girls, centipede girls, zombie girls, and scorpion girls. It basically, if they were part insect, it was instantly F tier. <laughs> I don't want to cuddle with something with an exoskeleton. That just sounds unpleasant. Um, and, uh, same with, like, the fish girls and the mermaid girls. They kill their partners, yeah. <laughs> uh, because this, they're slimy. And, um, you know, they can't stay out of water too long, so you'd have to cuddle them in, like, a pool. Or, like, I guess a hot tub, maybe, I don't know. But maybe they dry out in a hot tub. I don't know how it works. Um, and ghost girls, because you can't, you can't even touch them. They're, they're ghosts. <laughs> and uh, mummy girls, vampires, and uh, zombie girls, because they're undead. I don't want to cuddle a corpse. I am not doing that. I mean, vampires can be pretty hot, right? They can be sexy. I mean, they are. <laughs> um, but uh, vampires going to be cold, because they, they can't make their own blood. It, which means they can't maintain a body temperature. Probably. I'm assuming they can't maintain a body temperature. They'd have to sit under a heat lamp before you cuddle them. <laughs> and, or they would just sap your body heat. And that sounds not fun. That sounds not fun. Granted, I feel like I sleep a bit on the warm side um, these days. So it probably might not be that 
bad. But uh, I, I just don't want to do that. S'more girls. Is there a s'more girl? I don't know if that's a thing, s'more. <laughs> but you know, marshmallows. If I were small, I'd, I'd use it. I'd sleep on a marshmallow. Yeah. more girl just brings up Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> anyway. Hi, Kami. We were just talking about you. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. <coughs> we were just talking about you, Kami. No worries, Kami. No worries. Mwah. Yeah, just, just how we met and how I play Monster Hunter uh, on Saturday. <laughs> so, uh, I just remembered that I did the, the Monster Girl Cuddle tier list. And uh, that's how we met. Because <laughs> I got upset at Ursa for putting the Dola Hands in like B tier or whatever. I'd, I'd, uh, I had to correct that injustice with my own stream. <laughs> Um, but I guess he was he was doing them based on Smasher Pass, right? I I tiered them based on cuddle ability, how nice of a cuddle they would be, because that feels that felt different, it, more interesting to me than a Smasher Pass. I mean, cuddling can be part of smashing, right? But uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, they're good. Uh, don't forget to brush your teeth, Kami. And I hope you get some good sleep. Love a good cuddle turn smash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sounds nice for sure. Um, but yeah. So if you are a fish or undead or an insect, I put you in F tier. Cuddle ability wise. Um, C and B tier were like for monster girls that were like had too many unknowns um, uh, too many variables that uh, it depended on too many variables about how good of a cuddle they would be um, well C tier were like eh you're better than a corpse <laughs> you're better than a zombie or a mummy so that's uh, uh, C tier is Mimic Girls, Manticore Girls, because Manticores, you know, they're just big lions with scorpion tails and wings and a human face. Um, at least the monster is. Uh, but uh, the Manticore Monster Girls going to be fluffy, besides the, the scorpion tail. Um, but that's manageable, I suppose. Um, and like fairy sprites, because they're fairies as sprites. They're like the size of my thumb. This thumb. <laughs> um, and mushroom girls because um, I mean mushrooms aren't are squishy right but like I don't really want to cuddle a mushroom <laughs> but I would rather cuddle a mushroom than a zombie or a centipede and uh, plant girls because um, you know there's like there's soft plants like cotton and stuff like that that you could and like hay, the you know the stuff of pillow with hay or whatever, right? Um, so there's there's variables with the plant girl um, that could make it good or not good. <laughs> um, so that's C tier. B tier is like um, it depends, but not this would not be an unpleasant cuddle. But it wouldn't be an ideal cuddle. Um, so first we have slime girls because slime girls are prime B tier monster girls because um, there's, lots, there's too many variables with slime girls. Um, are they sticky all the time, or are they like, or do they have the texture of like a, a sticky hand that's not sticky anymore? You know, like that 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 rubbery um, but kind of tacky texture that you know doesn't get everything it doesn't make a mess <laughs> um do they have a membrane um 
uh, and do they can they maintain a temperature? Can they maintain a body temperature, or do I have to heat her up like a hot water bottle in like the bathtub before we go to bed? Because <laughs> um, if she's cold and sticky, no thank you. Um, but if she can maintain a body temperature, like if she can act like a hot water bottle, that sounds nice, right? That sounds great, when, especially in the winter time. That sounds awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, there's just too many variables with slime girls, in my opinion. Um, so I put the I put them in B because they're prime B material. Um, they depending on the variables, they're either really bad cuddles or really awesome cuddles. <laughs> um, then we have centaurs. That depends how big the centaur is. Like I can, there's a few cuddle positions I can imagine. Um, like you can lay, lay against their, their side or like sit on their back and like hug them from behind to hug their human torso or like you I don't know or they like hold you will they like walk around I don't know it, the, um, yeah <laughs> um, it just depends I feel like a centaur would be kind of awkward to cuddle Depending on how big they are, of course, if they're like human-sized centaurs, this is probably easier. Um, and uh, also depends if they if they if you're cuddling a centaur in your bed, are the hooves ripping up your sheets and your mattress? I don't know. That also would make it unpleasant. Um, then we have dragon girls. It depends, right? If they're if they have a bunch of scales, I don't know. It depends. Dragon girls, I mean, they're probably warm. They're probably really warm. Depend. Well, it depends on the the breath weapon, right? <laughs> um. But uh, you know, we love a nice mommy dragon girl, right? I mean, if uh, ASMR RP videos on YouTube have anything to say about it, people love them. <laughs> so, um, I don't think a dragon girl would be too unpleasant. Um, it just depends if their scale, how many scales they have in the horns, right? It depends. That's also why lizard girls are here. Um, too many, too. It, it depends. It depends, right? Um, then we have pig girls. I don't know why I put. I think about it now. I don't remember why I put pig pig girls in B tier. Maybe the hooves. I don't know if they have hooves. Because <laughs> um, I put Cyclops as an A. Um, so I don't know why pig girls are in B. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, Dryad slash Nymph girls are in B because depending on the setting, they're literally made out of bark. And that sounds terrible. <laughs> that sounds awful. I don't want to cuddle a piece of wood for the chini noodle. Yeah, uh, lamias are in S tier. Lamias are in S tier. And teethies. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there's no snake girl. It's just lamia. I'm pretty sure this. The list that I found only have lamias. Um, and then alien girls are in B tier because, like with slime girl, there's just too many ways to um, interpret what does alien mean. Uh, is it like the classic gray with the big head and the big beady eyes, or or what? There's it's yeah. <laughs> I think they're interchangeable. Yeah, could be. Um, so alien girls are in B tier. Um, A tier. Um, I put in A tier. I put spider girls, imps, goblins, monkey girls, harpies, mouse slash rat girls, cow girls, cyclops girls, salamander girls, and bat girls. Think about it now. I w I'd change pig girls to a. Um, think about it now. I don't remember why I put pig girls in B. That might have been earlier in the tier list. 
might have been earlier in the tier list. Mummies are girls and they are snakes. True. That is true, Astro. Yes, you're right. You you are correct. You are correct. Um A tier is like that's a pretty nice cuddle right there. No not really no not too many complaints. Um Cyclops girls are just um <laughs> they're just big. They're just big ladies. Um uh, they're not S because of the one eye is kind of creepy, but um, they're just big. And uh, um, <laughs> I personally, I like size difference. I think that's, I like size difference. I, they, I, I, I'm into it. Anyway, <laughs> um, that's why Cyclops girls are innate. They're just big ladies. And, uh, you know, who doesn't like a big lady? <laughs> Um, spider girls are in a because they can tuck you in real tight. They can tuck you in real tight. I know because they're, 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 they're in insect. They have a they have an exoskeleton, but they can tuck you in. And like spiders can be fuzzy, like a, like a jumping spider. They're adorable. <laughs> um, harpies because uh, they have feathers, and uh, um, you know bird. They, have, they probably have pretty good thighs, right? Because they're part bird. So I, I imagine they'd have nice thighs. Nice, uh, nice, uh, uh, lap pillow experience there with a harpy, I imagine. Because they can also sing you to sleep. Because harpies are also good singers. Imps, just because, uh, because of the horns. Um, they're not S. Um, but, uh, I imagine imps are pretty warm, because, they, you know, they're from hell, but, <laughs> uh, they're eight. Not too much to say about an imp girl, I think. Um, and then goblin girls, because, you know, maybe they're kind of stinky, <laughs> but, I don't know. Um, why did I put goblin girls in A? Why did I do that? I, I'm looking at this now. Like, why did I not put... I, I'd have to go back and watch the VOD. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. I don't remember why I put them in A. Maybe it's because they're, they're smaller. I don't I don't remember. No, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> um, and then Monkey Girls. Just because... I don't know. They might. They're not S, but they're A, because they have the tail that they can wrap around you to, depending on the monkey, right? Um, they got the grippers, right? You could probably do some things with their. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget I'm saying any of this. <laughs> but they're just they're just fuzzier humans, basically, right? And they have tails, well, uh, visible tails. And prehensile tails. And uh, mouse slash rat girls, because if you're a pet, a mouse, or like a hamster or a rodent, they're really soft. And uh, yeah, so I, I, yeah, that sounds nice to me. <laughs> um, cowgirls, what is there to say? Big mommy energy, right? So, right? <laughs> to me. To me. And salamander girls are an A because. I feel like they would be softer than a lizard girl. Um, because salamanders are squishy. Um, they might have to be slimy a lot of the time, but I, I don't know. I put them in A, because if you look up salamander girl, uh, you either get the mythical salamander, um, or you just get a, uh, like a real salamander. <laughs> real salamander girl. And, uh, there's art of both that look very pleasant cuddles like very pleasant cuddles so they put I put them in a because um, I feel like they they they'd be just as warm as a dragon girl but they'd have less horns and they'd probably be softer probably less scale scales and then bat girls because they're just they're just mouse slash rat girls but they have wings <laughs> excuse me Okay, S tier, 
Um, there's not too much to say about a lot of these. Um, if they're fuzzy, <laughs> uh, they, they, they generally made S tier. Um, so first, we have dual hands. Um, dual hands are instantly S tier because you can. There's lots you can do. You could hold their head in your lap while you're like watching Netflix or something, and you can like you can like play with their hair while their body like hugs you, right? That sounds nice to me. <laughs> um, or um, when you're sleeping, the body can like spoon you, and then you can hold the head in your arms, or whatever. You know, there's lots of things you can do with the dola hand, uh, cuddle wise, in other ways. But we're not talking about that. <laughs> um, then uh, dog slash wolf girls are just fuzzy. That sounds like a nice cuddle. Um, hellhounds, they're just muscular dog slash wolf girls right I like muscles <laughs> um, elves um, they're just humans but they have pointy ears right uh, tanuki girls um, rabbit girls they're just animals that are soft and fuzzy but girls <laughs> like if you're a pet an animal. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like a rabbit's soft. <laughs> I'm sure a rabbit girl would be soft, too. Um, then we have sheep goat girls. Go uh, of course I'd cuddle a sheep or a goat girl. Of course I would. Not just, I'm not saying that because Australia's here. But, uh, I would. I put them in S tier. There's poof. It's on my Twitter. <laughs> um, uh, Lamias. Uh, because they, they can squeeze you, um, they can tuck you in real tight, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oni girls, um, they're, um, yeah, just big muscly ladies, uh, yes please. <laughs> uh, squirrel, squirrel girls, the, the tail, hug, like cuddling with, hooking that tail, that sounds great. Um, succubus. Because they did a succubus, I imagine, knows how to cuddle you uh, very well. <laughs> uh, bear girls, I would be, uh, it would be a betrayal not to put them in S tier. Um, they're just big and fuzzy, right? I imagine. Uh, moth girls, they're an insect, but moths can be pretty fuzzy. We have giant girls, they're just cyclops girls, but they have two eyes now. Um, so they're just big big ladies, um, cat girls, because, you know, I like cuddling cats if I ever get the chance to, <laughs> so, a cat girl, that sounds nice, fox girls, I think, would be a better cuddle than a cat girl, and a, and a wolf girl, just purely because of the tail in the ears, probably, um, raccoon girls, they're probably, they might smell a little stinky, but I'm sure they're a nice cuddle. Angels, um, they, they're like basically harpies, but they have arms <laughs> and the wings. Um, bee girls, because bees can be fuzzy, um, and I imagine they're pretty cute too. Orc girls, because they're just oni girls, but uh, probably a little smaller and don't have horns. And then minotaur girls, because they're muscly. <laughs> they're big and they have muscles. Anyway, that's the whole list. Well, I don't know why I started talking about that again. I'm sorry, um, this stream has been all over the place, but uh, it feels like a true return to form. <laughs> because these streams are, are usually all over the place. Um, but yeah, I, I totally get to Australia. I want to be hugged so tight I turn into a noodle. Right? That sounds great. <laughs> that sounds great.
So in my For You on Twitter, someone asked, if you were offered 1000 a week to stream every day for five hours on Twitch, would you take it? Who wouldn't? That's easy. <laughs> a thousand bucks a week? That's 4K a month? That's more than I was making at Walmart, I think. Or maybe it was about the same, because I think I got paid bi-weekly. And I made about 2000 a paycheck. At Walmart, so I guess it, I guess it would work about to be about the same. Hmm. Hmm. Thing. A tweet, thank you. I still have some flower seeds. Yeah. How are you, Chang? It's good to see you, sweetheart. Hope we're doing okay. Under stretch? Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Seven Celsius. That's ninety-eight point six. That's nothing. It's a hundred and two outside right now. Probably hundred one. Oh, it's just a hundred right now. Okay. But tomorrow's gonna be another hot one. Hundred and two. <laughs> I'm doing okay, Chang. Uh, we just been talking about puppets. Uh, Cause next week I'm gonna show you guys all my uh, the the fabric I have. You guys can pick one for uh, the puppet we're gonna make on stream. Thanks that show. No, we're, we're gonna make a puppet. Um, yeah. If you want to see the puppets I've made, uh, they're on my Twitter in the media section. You'll just have to scroll for a bit.
Did you eat something on me today? Uh, Cheng, I hope you did. Also, it's good to see you. I missed you. That's good. Glad to hear it. Excuse me. Sorry. Your sleep schedule of being screwed from your vacation or something, you just pass out and can sleep all night. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. sleep all night. Gotcha. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good.
Oh, I was not hungry, so I I slept in, <laughs> and by the time I was done with my routine, um, it was like three thirty, and so I ate my mixed veggies and a chicken sandwich, and uh, I was full. Um, I wasn't really hungry before I started the stream. I'll eat something after the stream though, for sure. Hi, Ninetail. You want your good girl? Okay, let me drink some water real quick. Estrella too? Okay. <laughs> you want a good girl, Estrella? Or a good sheep? Sheep? Okay. We love our sheep office lady. Here, so I get some more food. <laughs> oh, it says drool. Okay, that looked like that looks like something else. <laughs> if you want, Chang, go get some more food. I can't stop you. Okay. Spicy art nine tail is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Even though I'm like never ready to see it when I click on it. But uh it's good. <laughs> it's good. Okay, so let me drink some more water. Sorry, all this yap is drying out my mouth. Thank you, Tato. Yes, yes, you, you do. You do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess it's just clicking buttons. It's like, oh, <laughs> that's a pee pee. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Estrella, Estrella, you're a very, very good sheep. Such a good sheep. <coughs> you're such a good sheep. I'm very proud of you, Estrella. Good to see you. Always a pleasure to see you. Mm -hmm. 
I get a big old grin on my face when you stop by. <laughs> and thank you for doing what you do. Having who you are, you make the world a better place. I think so, anyway. <laughs> Such a good sheep, yes you are, a very good sheep, yes you are, yes you are, such a good sheep, yes you are, strong, such a good sheep, such a very, very good sheep, there you go, Mr. I hope that was okay for you. Thank you, thank you for the redeem. You give what the people want. Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, beep. <laughs> Interesting question. You can see the titties. We love our, our resident office lady sheep, sheep office lady, who smells like tuna crackers, or is it, is it just fish crackers or tuna crackers, or am I thinking, or is it something else, I don't remember, but, anyway, <laughs> we 
We live with straw. Are you anyway? <clears throat> tuna crackers put in a tuna salad way. Yeah. Uh, you put it in the salad with the crackers and the tuna, or do you like mix, crush up the crackers and mix it with the tuna? I don't know. Do I but maybe I don't know what a tuna salad looks like. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I need to Google what a tuna salad is. You like to pack a tuna salad in your lunch and eat it with crackers like nachos. Oh. Gotcha. That sounds good, actually. That sounds really yummy. This is cream and mayo with a can of tuna and veggies like carrots and celery. Stuff they put in tuna sandwiches. Oh. When I make a tuna sandwich, I just mix the can with mayo and put that on uh, a sandwich. That's what I've always eaten it. That's how I've always eaten it. I tried putting, like, relish in it once and it made it worse. <laughs> um, but uh, I haven't had a tuna sandwich in a while. Um, cause I prefer a ham sandwich that way. <laughs> Get a can of whole milk ham, mix that with mayo, put that on some toasted bread. It's like the best thing ever. It tastes so good. <laughs> it's so good. Green Zero Meat. I was never a big fan of celery. I'd eat it. Like if someone made me ants on a log, I'd eat that. Uh, when I was little. Unless I, well, I remember someone made ants on the log and I just licked the peanut butter out of it and just put the celery back on the plate. <laughs> um, yeah, I was never, I, I can't, nowadays I can eat, deal with broccoli. But, uh, I buy a lot, yes. Yes, it is. It's pretty good in uh, meatloaf. For sure. We put it in the meatloaf. It's in the meatloaf recipe. Um, but I, I can deal with broccoli now. Unless it's raw, I, I can't. I can't do raw broccoli. Um, like if it's in a, a casserole or something, um, I could I could deal with that. But. Uh, a cauliflower I just I can't I can't do a cauliflower uh, no matter what I, I, I'll eat it if, if somebody makes me something with cauliflower in it I'll eat it but uh, if, it, if, if 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 I have the option to not eat the cauliflower I will not eat the cauliflower <laughs> I do not like cauliflower I know broccoli and cauliflower come from the same plant right which is just weird to think about but um, I do not like cauliflower. <laughs> and I know people say it's fine if you dip it in cheese. Anything's fine if you dip it in cheese. <laughs> if you smother anything with melted cheese, it's going to taste good. Anyway, sorry. I didn't mean to get so heated. But I just, I don't, I don't like cauliflower. <laughs> I don't like cauliflower.
You guys watching any of the new animes this season yet? Excuse me. Um, I watched a few of them. I think I watched all of the ones that have released. I think. I think. I've tried. I've at least watched a bit of all of them. I don't know if I've... I don't think I've finished an episode of all of them, but... Um, let's see. I don't know if I have a favorite this season. You're in Star Strike at Rich. I've never seen it. But a mostly lady. Yeah, this is just yuck. <laughs> yeah. Underground illegal fights with only girls. Oh, okay, okay. This definitely looks like an Australia thing, if that makes sense. I'm not sure that's not an insult. It's like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> From what I've seen on your Twitter, yep, this make yep, this makes sense. Made Kinka assure and how many kilos are the dumbbells he left? Oh, okay. It looks cool. It looks cool. I have to finish. I have to finish um, all these uh, new violent sheep. Yes. <laughs> um, I gotta. I gotta finish my the volumes I have of uh, Call of the Night. I have up to like volume nine, and I've only read up to vol through volume five. I don't even know if I finished volume five. Um, but uh, um, what was it? The VTuber anime. I I I forgot to turn off my stream, and I went viral or something. Whatever it's called. Um, it's really good. Yeah, VTuber Legend. How I went viral after forgetting to turn off my stream. It's actually really good. <laughs> it was a very enjoyable watch. Um, and uh, of course, Nokoten. My dear friend Nokoten. Um, the first episode, at least, was pretty entertaining. Um, what else? Um, Pseudo Harem is pretty cute. Um, slime is still going. Um, and uh, Ava sometimes hides her, Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian, is really cute too. Um, uh, Red Cat Ramen was cute. I think the second episode releases tomorrow or Friday. Um, Mayo Knockout Punch seems interesting. Yeah, the animation's really nice. Um, and then there's a few things on uh, High Dive that are pretty decent to me. <coughs> what were those ones? What were those ones? Um, oh, Dungeon People is pretty cute. It's pretty fun, seemingly, after the first episode. Um, that's one that really grabbed me. The ones of that high dive got this season. Last season only I got two. Um, this season they have five. Oh, they may have season two of Oshinoko, but um, uh, yeah, Dungeon People is pretty funny. It's pretty cool. It's fun. I mean, it's a little early to declare which one's my favorite this season, but. Uh, Oh yeah, sometimes hides her feelings it, it, in Russian. It's pretty cute. It might be my favorite. Um, Shoshimin, How to Become Ordinary, seems interesting. Um, 
Yeah, there's lots of romance anime this season. Very interesting. But the, uh, the majority of it is romance. At least what Crunchyroll grabbed in this season. At least what I've been watch what I have saved on my uh, watch list <laughs> is romance. But that's just me. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's already been two hours. Okay, well, I guess we should be looking into who to raid tonight. Um, so if, if you haven't gotten a red if you have any redeems, and you haven't redeemed yet, and you want to redeem, uh, please do so soon, ish. Um, or forever hold your peace till Sunday. <laughs> Guilty alive? Violet is live. Okay, okay, Yui is live. We haven't raided Yui in a while. Yeah, we might raid her. Oh, Moki is live. Just doing ASMR. I haven't seen Moki in a bit. We can be Moki. Uh, we'll probably read out here in like five minutes. If there's any redeems you haven't gotten uh, around to redeeming yet. Please do so soon. Thank you guys for being here. It was good to see you all. Um, I'm glad we actually got to do a <laughs> today. We didn't get a follow about it, which is great. We didn't get a follow about an attack, which is awesome. <laughs> uh. um, sorry, about it's great. Thank, thank you uh, for suggesting it. Uh, Estrella Nobby. I think it was Estrella Nobby. Uh, Nobby's great. I visited Nobby's stream last night and her mic, like, made demon sounds and it scared me, but <laughs> she's, she's very sweet.
But that manga sounds good to show. Are you telling? Write that down. <laughs> It's still being updated, it's uh, chapter 30. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Oh, the, the searching it up on eBay also brought up a magic card. Strike it rich, one red mana, sorcery, create a treasure token you can flash back for two, two uh, colorless and one red. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> Maybe it is. <clears throat> Okay, okay. From what I saw on Google Images, that looks pretty. It looks pretty cool. I used to uh, read uh, fan scans, fan scanlations, fan scan translations on uh, manga decks or whatever. Like in twenty twenty, I haven't done that in a really long time. <laughs> um, I don't know what what I if what I read on manga decks was any good. Um, I mean, I read uh, My Senpai is Annoying and uh, uh, My Dress Up Darling. I guess Dress Up Darling is pretty good. Um, I read a bit of Kaiju Number 8, so like everything I read on manga decks is basically gotten an anime at this point. <laughs> so that was a very interesting experience to me. Uh, because it was like the first time I was really like reading manga and then it, it, the manga I was I read got anime. I was like, wow, this has never happened to me before. <laughs> so it was an interesting experience. Um, for sure. Oh, Guilty is life. Okay, I haven't read Guilty in a long time. So, we'll read Guilty. Um, there was one that I read I think the last one I read on manga decks was, uh, I can't remember the title, but it was about a guy, um, that worked at a, a black company, an abusive company, um, but it was okay, because he'd come home to his wife, who w would always be wearing tights, and then he would, like, feel up her legs, or, like, lay in her lap, and it would, like, heal him of all his, of all his work stress. <laughs> very interesting but uh, the art was really nice like t the tights were really well drawn and shaded it was uh, very it was impressive <laughs> it was impressive um, I think I still have it bookmarked um, a wife who heals with tights I think that's what it's called <laughs> I think that's what it's called Yeah. I don't know if I ever got a physical. It might only be on manga decks. Oh, it's a doujinshi. Okay. Well. Oh, it's a self. Okay. It's on Amazon. <laughs> I could put it on my throne. <laughs> okay. Should we find it? Let's see here. on. Oh. Uh, okay. Never mind. They want uh, me to do a CAPTCHA. Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> uh, guilty just write it out. Okay. So uh, we'll have to read. Uh, we'll read. We'll read. Ah, uh, Moki. We'll read Moki. We were too late. That's okay. Where's Moki? There's Moki. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. It was good to see you all. Mwah. I hope this stream wouldn't okay. I feel like I yapped a lot. That's what we usually do here, but... <laughs> um. Alright, give me a second to swap my headphones and I will be right back. Okay. 
um, again, uh, tomorrow is the 8-hour Elden Ring stream. We're going from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, that's the plan anyway. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm going to try to start at 11 a.m. <laughs> There's a decent chance I'll sleep through my alarms, but uh, we'll see. I'm going to go eat something and uh, go to bed. Um, but uh, thank you guys for being here. It's good to see you all. Um, uh, good night, Estrella. Good night, Ninetale. Good night, Chang. Good night, Kami. Good night, S'mores. Uh, good night, Artie. Good night, uh, Kumi. Uh, who else was here? Haku. Good night, Haku. Good night, Tato. Good night, Draki. I think that's everybody. I think. And thank you everyone that was lurking. Please be nice to Moki. She's a big sweetheart. She's great. Give her lots of love, please. Good night, guys. Brush your teeth. Drink water. Stretch. Do what you gotta do. Take care of yourselves. Good night. Bye.